Hey guys, today is uh, March the 19th of 2015. I want to go over the euro and, and the US dollar and uh, just give you my thoughts. Uh, please know that this is just an educational video only, so please pause the video and read the video disclaimer. I uh, haven't done a video in a while uh, within this channel just because this is more on the deep end channel. Uh, this is more esoteric, uh, more in depth. Uh, and plus I've been busy too so I've been doing some updates on my I guess you want to call it the Google blog and you know what I'm doing uh, a lot of people follow my signals uh, or they just want to learn I just want to see what I'm doing so pretty much it's called Forex price and time technical analysis on Google plus this is where I kind of post my post my ideas uh, you know on, on most of the uh, the uh, major uh, US dollar pairs uh, sometimes I do some videos, you know, little quick snippets of videos like, hey, you know, this is where I think, you know, uh, the yen is at, the pound, uh, I cover the, the Canadian, um, the Aussie, um, the New Zealand, uh, Euro, obviously, and, you know, you can just see some uh, there, um, and the Swiss franc. Uh, but this is this is my uh, page, and this is WD Gann, this is my mentor, this is the one I've studied, this is the one I've learned a lot, I'm still learning. I'm still reading his book. I'm still researching, and uh, I'm still trying to uh, uh, groove or dance with the markets. Uh, but anyway, and this is uh, kind of like a community thing. I got 212 members. They're growing. Uh, pretty much, you know, there's a few that are starting to post, you know, some some of their thoughts, uh, which I like because I like to see other people's uh, thoughts and ideas, and you know, the way they look at the market. Uh, but mostly, I guess maybe all these people here just kind of seeing what I'm doing and maybe either shadow trading me or just, you know, either learning or, you know, whatever it is, they're just here for a reason. Uh, we're, we're up to like 212. Uh, but mostly it's just me, maybe uh, one or two or three that maybe post some ideas, but I'm pretty much the bulk. And this the reason I do this because sometimes I just can't do videos all the time uh, like today. But I figured I'd just let you know. Uh, where I'm at, you can find me on Google Plus, Forex Price and Time Technical Analysis, and uh, same page right here. All right, let's get into the let's get into the let's get into the euro. Uh, euro is one of my favorite uh, instruments to trade, so that's why I I, I get into depth with it. Uh, besides the other ones, um, first off, let's add the uh, Andrews uh, pitchfork. We can see that the euro is finally finding support here at this uh, area zone. I believe that we're uh, just around the corner for a possible change in trend. Uh, I don't know if it's a change in trend that we're going to come, you know, and just blow up to the sky. But, uh, you know, it, it, the euro is not, I mean, the euro could go down all the way down here. Let me put this over here. The euro could go all the way down here. Uh, I'm not going to say it can't. Uh, but most of the times markets normally come down, then they go up. And if they're going to continue the uh, bear market, then they push another leg down, or sometimes they go out and they push a leg, you know. So there's a lot of symmetry behind it. Uh, but I'm not saying that it won't go down here, but I, I am using some calculations that Double D Gan, you know, taught. And I'm seeing that, you know, and if it's right, you know, I've been wrong in the past. I believe that the change in trend is going to start kicking in uh, within the next couple of days, uh, even weeks. And I have the date here. You already can see it. Uh, April 2nd, uh, possible change in trend. Uh, April 2nd is uh, uh, a Thursday. Uh, will it happen on April 2nd? It could. Uh, there's a reason why April 2nd is a strong uh, date for my calculations for a possible change in trend, meaning that it could just be a spike down like this and then it just shoots up and that's your pivot low. Or it could be early, it could be a day early, it could be two days early, uh, or it could be in that week. You know, what's that, uh, uh, you know, uh, August, uh, J April 2nd? It could be anywhere from that week of uh, uh, Monday the 30th of uh, March all the way to the 3rd, you know, somewhere around that week. I'm I'm looking for, but I'm narrowing it down to April the second. Whatever's gonna happen that day, uh, if it is gonna happen, uh, that's the one I'm locking to. So I'm just giving you heads up. But I'm just gonna show you, you know, geometry on the euro. You know where we at on the big picture right here. This is where we at. So now we uh, we we zoom in a little closer. Uh, the uh, 
let's get into the daily let's get zoom in uh, as you can see I have seasonal dates too that I have that I that I've been watching uh, the uh, 6th to 12th and we're coming up to the 22nd which has a cluster hit of three and uh, WD GAN taught that you know on the uh, uh, changes of season you know equinox the the uh, changes of the se uh, season summer spring you know fall winter uh, there's a possible change in trend now keep in mind just because he said that doesn't mean that every change of season there's always going to be a pivot high and pivot low it doesn't happen like that you know why because if it were that way we will all be millionaires we'll just have to wait for March the 21st uh, September 21st and just put a buy put a wide stop and just all make money but it doesn't work out like that it's just a possibility he's probably seen in his study in his research that you know in these these times when the seasons come and change uh, sometimes the market does that too uh, but that doesn't mean that it happens all the time so I'm just letting you know uh, but there's a cluster of things happening uh, besides the, the change in season and uh, price and time you know change in trend uh, that my calculations are telling me could happen uh, right now I'm just you know putting myself out there if it doesn't happen well you know I was wrong uh, but I'm leaning towards you know that it could be a possibility so you know we broke that trend that I showed you right now the monthly this is where we at we're dancing right here uh, between that uh, big uh, that big big picture uh, monthly which is right here and we're trying to hold that so that's kind of support for now on the euro uh, these were my stops uh, unfortunately I got stopped out so right now I'm flat the euro uh, I'm out uh, and I'm, I'm not gonna get in I'm just gonna kind of wait to this thing develops and see uh, how this week uh, especially tomorrow how we close tomorrow on the euro and on the dollar uh, and then you know in the next uh, couple of days a week uh, leading to April 2nd I want to see how price action is going to behave around here and how the euro is and how the dollar if it's going to start selling off then it's going to start you know leading me or you know telling me that maybe the uh, the bottom is in you know for now maybe to retrace to a to a certain level this is the 100 uh, that we have uh, I recommend traders always to have a trailing stop somehow uh, some kind of indicator you know parabolic uh, indicator something where you could just keep trailing uh, just in case you know like what happened with you know uh, yelling uh, this uh, massive pop at least if this was like the uptrend of something huge you'll be out already you know but you already got all these uh, pips right here uh, and this is what the techniques I use uh, percentage shortstop uh, loss you know ATR shortstop loss uh, and Xero so um, so where we at on the GAN indi indicator uh, it's not giving us a, a long signal to go long yet uh, w even with all this action and if you've seen my blog I posted that this was going to be a head fake and, and it was uh, we popped all the way up there uh, and then we just came right back down and this is where we open right here right by this channel so keep an eye on the euro uh, we're getting close to a bottom uh, but I just wanted to show you what I'm seeing here and this is uh, my chart that I use uh, next uh, if you've been following me watching videos and stuff like that you've noticed that uh, one of my videos uh, one of my indicator forecasting I think we were somewhere around here maybe I can't remember uh, the, the the date but it was so, I think it was somewhere around here where this indicator was saying that the euro is gonna bottom somewhere between uh, March uh, somewhere around here uh, and interesting look we've made it all the way down here and now this massive volume is starting to pick up here um, uh, pretty interesting you know I didn't think this this uh, indicator we're gonna pull it off and you know it did it on its own it, it just forecasted this hold down and, and and look it's forecasting the future uh, that we could probably be going all the way up to uh, uh, May uh, May the 13th you know pull back but sometimes you know it's not that accurate because you can see uh, that it, it popped up here but you know the euro didn't pop it just kept going down but it was showing kind of like a uh, kind of more like a pivot of, of, of where you know things could stall and turn and you can see that right here we kind of turn here for a couple of days continue down you know we kind of stall here for a couple of days and then push down uh, we popped here so sometimes you know it doesn't nail everything completely but it kind of nailed that you know we were going to kind of bottom here so if this is a case that we're going to bottom down here uh, this indicator I give it an A plus if this all turns out to not start going higher uh, 
and it said you know from around here that we were going to go down all the way to like March uh, that's pretty incredible you know I'm trying to do this all in other calculations and this thing just nailed it you know uh, with all its you know calculations and algorithms so let's keep an eye on this uh, indicator and see you know if now uh, if this is the bottom uh, we're going to go all the way up to May the 13th uh, so something uh, to, uh, to keep an eye on uh, another thing I wanted to show you um, and that's kind of more like a confirmation of anything, you know, of like all my other calculations. Um, using the GAN square uh, from the 2008 all-time high, we made a pivot low. Well, this is actually the low here, but like we got this massive now uptrend or volume kicking up right in the middle of the uh, of the X. So that's something interesting too. This is not just randomly put this uh, GAN square, uh, you know, on 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 just any pivot high this is like the all-time high uh, pivot uh, GAN square and you can see how prices just kept going and kept in, and kept going down here uh, but I'm leaning more you know towards uh, next week uh, for you know for some kind of bottom to kick in uh, to settle like a base and uh, April 2nd is the day that I'm um, I'm eyeing down uh, let's see what else is anything else I wanted to show you uh, I think that's it for this chart um, let's go here let's go this uh, right yeah this is the uh, let's go to the weekly these are monthly pivots and this is where we at right now let's get a little closer you can see that it, it hit all this this pivot up here uh, still negative you know we don't have an even a, a, a PPS buy signal you know you're below the 20 below the 50 um, you, you got these uh, monthly pivots uh, so it's in, and you're already at what is it uh, s1 s2 right here uh, s3 is probably actually no this is s3 this is s2 and this is a value area low which is a 92 4 so this is where we at um, doesn't look good you know but when time is up sometimes things doesn't look good and that's when you just have to jump on the leap of faith at the right time uh, notice that you know uh, if you've been following me I haven't been saying long I did said that maybe there was a pivot low uh, or final bottom on crude and I'm kind of now maybe thinking that maybe I might I might be wrong uh, but you know because it took out the low on crude but you know not by much it's still kind of you know fluctuating around there but this is this is where we at on the weekly if we look at the daily you see this massive massive pop right here and uh, we hit uh, S1 and this is where we at uh, what is it uh, 661 661 somewhere around here this is interesting this right here is showing somebody's coming in with volume setting a position already either somebody this is just massive stops that were hit uh, this kind of move retail doesn't have that kind of momentum this is the big boys the banks the institutions uh, somebody knows something's coming up you know and or maybe they don't know whatever it is something is up I, we haven't seen this kind of candle on a daily all the way uh, through uh, May the 8th, which is the, 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 the pivot high. You know, we haven't had this. We, we haven't even had a candle this size. So it's showing, you know, Double D Gann says that when you're close to a bottom or a top, uh, prices tend to blow off steam, you know, like, like a train, you know, it's, it's just blowing off steam. So there's going to be a lot of volatility in the next uh, couple of days. Uh, but just keep in mind, you know, this, this, this is, this is the area right here. This whole area, all the way to April second, uh, is where I think, you know, we could probably go crazy, chop around, or maybe just start shooting up. But I'm thinking, you know, once April second kicks in, uh, things, you know, uh, if, if these calculations are correct and and price and time works, uh, things, you know, should start turning to the upside for the euro 
uh, this other chart that I was showing right here this is the dollar I will get to the dollar next um, this is linear regression channels and these are the monthly weekly daily on the euro and you can see that we've hit this bottom over here on the monthly on the linear regression channel so you know we came all the way from here all the way down to here we even extended ourselves on, on this other linear regression channel that I follow so it got super oversold and found support here I mean you crack that channel there's nothing below I mean then then this is like this is like Walmart super discount down here so and I can't see it falling every day. So everything, you know, time-wise is falling into place. Uh, on the weekly, same thing here. We hit the uh, PPS lines right here, the medium line. So we found resistance and we came right back down. We got a PPS buy signal on the, on the daily. So it retraced, obviously. And now we're kind of hovering right here uh, with the medium channel line uh, right here too. And this is the 12-hour. Uh, you can see how we hit the medium point here. So all this is all... You know symmetry uh, within you know a time frame. So I got the uh, daily, the 12 hour, you know the four hour right here, the one hour, 30, 15, and the uh, five minutes. So this is this is this is where we at. But if you want to see the big picture, you can see that we're very oversold and we found support over here. Uh, this is the one I wanted to show you, the dollar. Uh, you can see that we've been chopping around for a couple of years. You know back and forth, back and forth. And from May, May 8th, where is May 8th? This is the weekly? Okay, yeah, this is the weekly. So somewhere around here, this is like May May 5th. Somewhere around here, we just started going up with momentum. With momentum. And if you see my videos, this is the one-by-one one angle. I said, hey, uh, heads up. If we come down here, test this, take out this one-by-one one and this 50, this thing is going to go higher. But keep in mind that we're coming up to a time frame uh, which is this is where the uh, end of the bo uh, the grid box ends uh, which is uh, March 23rd and look look at that look how amazing we didn't get this over here this is fine yeah this is normal trading the big boys are coming in now look at this this is the end of a grid and I mean this is a big this is a big grid. This is my GAN grid. This is where I use arc. I use uh, uh, angles, uh, symmetry. Uh, I'm just gonna hide stuff because sometimes you know people see this and they're like, hey, "This is like a this is like a big mess." Uh, but if I just show you, you know, step by step retracement levels, you can see. This is from the all-time high, the dollar, 121, and from the all-time low, $71. We blew through the 50, and we, we hit up here. We didn't get to the 62.5%, which is the 102, and it could go there. You know, my calculations could be wrong. This thing could go all the way up there and come down, but I'm just showing you now in regards to time, um, you can see that this is your one grid box right here, and then from here, this measured from the all-time high to here, uh, in the future gives you the next grid and this is where we at you know and then the next grid into the future comes all the way over here uh, I don't know what that date is I can't see I'm getting old I don't know if that's 11 6 of uh, wow my eyes are really I think that's one 116 of 2022 that's how far we go into the future but uh, WD Gann said time is the most important factor not even price can you imagine that I've always thought price was support resistance and it is but there's something that even overrules price and it's time and this is where we at this is where we at so you have this as evidence that the dollar might be coming to an end uh, March the 23rd and this is weekly so next week keep an eye the dollar could start turning you know none of this right here should have been the turn but now we're coming right here and then you start adding more stuff uh, the arcs 
and you can see where we at right in the focal point right here so anyway I don't want to bore you with all this stuff but I'm just showing you how I see the markets and how I you know do my technical analysis and why everything is coming to a to a cluster and change right here this um, my cycle on the euro telling me now it's time to turn should retrace up um, what else the calculated date I have April 2nd could be earlier just showing you you know what I'm seeing March 22nd uh, seasonal date keep an eye on uh, the uh, equinox coming up March the 21st which is a Saturday uh, which could affect it either you know tomorrow uh, what is it tomorrow no the, the 20th and uh, or Monday and then the big picture that I want to show you last I want to make this video too long uh, you can see that I have I have in, uh, as an indicator the uh, equinox and I have I believe is a, a, a moon a full moon or a new moon I can't remember um it's either one either new moon or full moon uh, that's coming here so it should be interesting you know and this guy I have it here because of the trading day you know because obviously if it's on a Saturday it's not gonna you know it might not do anything to the but I, it just kind of lets me know that this we're in the hot zone seat right here so you can see that we're here obviously the the monthly is looking like it's showing uh, a basing you can see this has just been oversold right here uh, very very stretched out I mean none of this is positive only thing positive here is Fisher on the uh, weekly you can see that we we spiked up here and then came right back down uh, nothing is still positive um, not even on the uh, on the weekly on the daily we got a PPS buy signal obviously hit the 20 and passed it retraced now and right here so we're kind of more like on an inside day and let's see how Friday comes uh, but I'm looking more like what what next week is gonna look like and you can see that now we're setting uh, positive you know um, signals here on the yellow um, and we got a Fisher buy signal here but you know CCI I'm not really liking it it's still on the uh, on the uh, negative side of things uh, but you know we got to probably give it a couple of more, more days actually you know what this is the new moon because this is a full moon the full moon is coming up uh, for two so interesting look at that where I'm leaning more on the April sec uh, April 2nd we have a full moon there's a lot of stuff behind that date and which is going to lead me that maybe we could chop around here maybe just continue going higher or maybe do one final flush on April 2nd and then that's going to be your nice little pivot low um, and if it does that ha if that does happen that there's a nice little flush and takes out this slow on uh, April 2nd I'm going to risk and buy whatever low you know the lowest is that it could get above on the one hour chart I'm going to jump in there and put a stop on that low really tight and then just see what happens but this is where I'm leaning where you know this is gonna this is gonna this is gonna change and I don't even know you know calendar wise what's gonna happen uh, I believe on Thursday I don't know what what's going on in the future in regards to market news but this is where I'm leaning towards uh, if you look at the DX real quick um, it's my drink here I mean massive look at this massive look at the dollar man it, it took out two of these levels and it came right back up who bought this it's amazing you know retail wow everybody just piled in they believe in you know they believe in in all this stuff but look at that look at that PPS sell signal and bounce right back up hit the 50 on the daily and bounce right back up above the 20 above this uh, percentage level and this is where we at right now in the mobile band which is chop zone right here and we still you know the trend is still intact don't get it wrong the still the trend is still to the upside on the daily uh, on the weekly on the on the dollar this is just noise right here this is massive noise and this is maybe people unwinding maybe the big boys you know because we're getting closer to maybe you know if my calculations are correct like I said 
they're starting to unwind. I don't think they want to unwind here. They just want to kind of like unwind in the next couple of days, slowly get off if it's going to pan out that way. And then when we get here, you know, maybe then it starts, you know, really going down. But this this is where we're at. The dollar is still strong. Nothing negative on the indicators. Fisher buy signal. Uh, we we did get this 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 thing down here, but it's just because of this weekly candle. Uh, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll keep you posted. Uh, the next video I would do probably will be, you know, right after April 2nd, maybe that Friday, and, and just see how things pan out. But at least you have, you know, my thoughts and my ideas. And, and remember, you know, if you want to just keep my up, check my updates on what I'm, you know, what's happening currently on the markets on a daily basis. I just put some notes, you know, like yesterday. I said, you know, viewers, your D may pop, but will be a head fake. It's not time to go long euro if my calculations are correct. Fed patience or no patience, I'm not concerned with. Time is the most important factor that we dig at. So, did it pan out when I put that in yesterday at 9.16 a.m.? Look at that. I think it did. You know, if you got long euro, uh, when it was down at that level over there, you know, when it got that nice little pop, uh, if you didn't have a tight stop or you got a wide stop, you're you're in the red now. Uh, but, you know, that's what I say. Always have a trailing stop mechanism. When it does happen, the volatility kicks in, it kicks you right out, and it kicked me out right out right here. Right here. This is where I had my stop. 829 it just blew me right off got an email alert that I was out hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you again